This lesson will show how to create artwork by graphing quadratic functions with domain restrictions on the coordinate plane. All the equations will be in the form y equals a times the quantity x minus c squared plus d, where the value of a determines the vertical stretch or compression compared to y equals x squared. If a is less than zero, the parabola opens down. If a is greater than zero, the parabola opens up. The value of c determines the horizontal shift, which means the shift left or right, and the value of d determines the vertical shift, which means the shift up or down. And finally, the vertex is the ordered pair c comma d. And now let's look at some artwork using desmos.com. I've already set the first part of the artwork up. As I zoom out, we'll begin to see the artwork. Notice how we have a fairly simple design. The artwork is symmetrical across the x and y axes. One thing we can do is click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner and click the box for reverse contrast. This will change the coordinate plane to black and the graph to white. We can also change the color of the pieces of the graph by clicking and holding on any of the white circles on the far left. Notice how there are six choices for color. Let's go back to the regular mode by turning off the reverse contrast. In this mode, if we click and hold on any of the black circles on the far left, we have six different colors to choose from. Let's take a look at the first 12 equations that created this first piece of artwork, and then we'll expand the artwork by adding more equations. By analyzing the equations on the left and the domain restrictions, on the right in the curly brackets, you will see a pattern. Also notice how the value of C in all of the equations is zero, which means that none of the graphs have been shifted left or right. There's only a vertical stretch or compression as well as a vertical shift up or down. And now to expand the artwork, I'm going to add 12 more equations. I've already entered them. I'm just going to turn them on as I turn them on, you will see them appear on the right. Notice how the additional six equations here added six more graphs above the x-axis, where all of them open down, have a vertical stretch or compression, and all of them are also shifted right six units. And now let's add six more equations. and you can see the result on the right. So I hope you will find creating artwork on the coordinate plane fun, but also a way to learn about the behavior of different types of functions. Thank you for watching.